Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on in this tutorial series we are going to work on how to cycle through these tactical vision mods. So we have implemented three mods: uh, regular night vision and thermal vision, white hot thermal vision, and this predator style heat vision. So we can see them through the scope as well here. This is the regular night vision, thermal vision and the heat vision and if i press once again you go back to no tactical vision mode so this is what we are going to work on today cycling through different uh, tactical vision modes in our game so before we get started let me remind you that we can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel from the patron page once you become a member you will be able to access everything without any limits so to the date there are over 2000 videos and for each video project files are available and here is the full playlist of this series where i cover all the mechanics that you would need in a third person shooter game in unreal engine everything is implemented from scratch i started this about five years ago and i'm continuously doing updates to this system but everything is well documented and shared as tutorials so if you want to learn everything about how to create a third person shooter game this would be the tutorial series that you could follow so yeah i'll leave links to everything in the description below and now let's get back to today's tutorial series okay so this is the state of the project as of now so when i press n now i'm uh, enabling only the heat vision mod but we implemented three different tactical vision mods including night vision and thermal vision and heat vision so predator style heat vision as of the last episode so now i'm going to implement a way to cycle through all these different kinds of tactical vision mods so the first thing is let me open my player character actually this is the this is the child of all the character uh, the base character which has the same mesh and i am using this material here and this part is relevant for heat vision and this part is relevant for thermal vision and this part is relevant for night vision so i need a way to cycle through all those things so to do that here i have this material parameter collection this mpc post process so here right now i'm using this uh, tactical vision enabled parameter so i'm gonna add define a new parameter here and i'm gonna call it tactical vision mod so well maybe we don't need a new one we can just change this instead of tactical collision enabled i'm going to call it tactical vision mode okay now observe this and then here I already have this tactical vision enabled so i'm going to select tactician with tactical vision mode like this and then we can define a switch parameter and here as the inputs i already have the default one uh, as the switch value i'm going to put tactical vision mode so as for switch these inputs first one is none let me add another one the i'll call it night vision and another one i'll call it thermal vision and another one so this is predator style heat vision maybe it's the same as thermal vision but i don't have a different name so i'm just gonna call it heat vision okay and 
for the night vision mode this is i would need i'm going to need a multiplier here this is the emission for the night vision mode so this goes to the night vision so for the default mode i'll define a constant zero for the none and for default when we don't have a specific uh, tactical vision mode enabled we should not have any emission so that's why i defined zero so this is night vision mode and this is the thermal vision mode but now this part is not relevant so i'm going to directly put it here like this and the other one is this uh, this is the heat vision part we don't need this multiplier it directly goes here okay so now these are the three different vision modes that we have Okay, this should go into a seal color. All right, now depending on the value I put for the night tactical vision mode, one of these inputs will be selected as the seal color. So we can support multiple different uh, tactical vision modes. But this is just the character material part. Now let's do the actual post-process material assignment. Okay, now here, I'm gonna rename this current tactical vision material. And I'm gonna add a new one uh tactical vision materials this should be from the type material interface this should be an array because we are going to support multiple different uh, tactical vision mods so i'll add we have three mods Night vision and vision and eight vision. Okay, now I'm gonna cycle through this array and assign one material at a time. So if I when I press N, I will assign the first one. When I press N again, I will assign the next one. When I press N again, the next one, and at the end. I will go to the regular no tactical mode. Uh, so like, just like that, I will cycle through different vision modes. Okay. So I'll add another material. I'll call it tactical vision mode. It should be an integer, just an integer. This is to say what is the current tactical vision mode that I'm using? Maybe instead of saying current, I'll say next tactical vision mode because this would point to the next tactical vision material that we are going to use. All right, now this part is to get the post process volume. So I'll collapse this, get PP volume. Then I think it would be better if I collapse this whole thing into a function. Yeah, it will make things more clean. So I'll call it update tactic collision. Yeah. 
Okay, so the first step is make sure that we have valid reference to the post process volume. And the next part would be removing the current tactical vision material from the post process materials array of the post process volume. So I already do that here. So we can actually copy that part. And here, let's do it like this current tactical vision material. If I do have a valid reference here, that means I have a current tactical vision mode enabled. So if this is not valid, we can jump to the next step. Not a return node, just a read out node. And here, this is what I have to do. From the current post process volume, remove item. Let this and the object is this, where it is this of one. That's what I'm doing here. Yeah, exactly. And continue to the next part. So, this part a little bit. Okay, now here also. Uh, Let me collapse this part so that we know what's going on here. I'll collapse this and call it remove current tactical vision. Okay. Well, and then uh, once I remove it, we can actually clean the reference that we have. So set current tactical vision material to not to clean it up okay now the next step is applying the next tactical vision mode material so for that what i can do is here Get the tactical vision materials and check is valid index. Check if this next tactical vision mod index is a valid index. If this is true, then we can get that and assign it. Otherwise, that means we have cycled through all the tactical vision modes so i'm gonna set next tactical vision mode to zero and not assign anything so right now here this is what we're gonna do get this material and create dynamic material instance Is and set this as the current tactical vision material. And assign this. So assignment happens like this, add unique. Here from the post process volume, get settings and get post process material settings and get the materials array. Add unique. Here, split this where it should be one because we need to enable this post process effect. And object is this current tactical vision material. 
uh, we don't really need to do any connect here and then we need to set the tactical vision mod so i'm going to increment this this integer and then set this value as this uh, set scalar parameter value tactical vision mod on this mpc pause process and the value goes here like this Uh, actually, I need to do that even if I set it to zero. So, wait. Here I add a reload node. Instead of using this way, get a new instance of this next tactical vision connect here so it's, it looks more clear okay right now this part is uh, actually i don't think we need to clear this so here what we are doing is creating the next uh, material instance dynamic material instance for the next tactical vision mode and add it to the post process materials and yeah that's it i think okay and time to test so let's see let me equip this sniper so it's cool so press n now we are in the regular night vision mode press n again we are in the thermal vision mode press n again we are in the predator style heat vision mode and if i press n again we are back in the regular no any tactical vision mode so yeah and 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 okay so we can cycle through all different modes okay great so that's all i wanna do in this episode so yeah, thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.